that. Okay, so the last part to this topic is B4.9, factors affecting transpiration. And if you remember from the previous video, transpiration means the loss of water vapour from the stomata. So factors can affect the rate of transpiration, include temperature, humidity, so how sort of how much liquid in the air is humidity, the amount of air movement, so how windy it is, and light intensity, so how bright it is. Anything that increases the rate of photosynthesis will also increase the rate of transpiration. This is because the stomata are open to let more CO2 in. Remember, water is lost when these stomata are open, so the stomata need to be open for photosynthesis, so that means there's also the opportunity for water to be lost when they're open. Um, so therefore, an increase in light intensity will increase transpiration. So the more light there is, the more photosynthesis will take place. Therefore, the stomata will be open and more water will be lost. Um, hot, dry, windy conditions also increase the rate of transpiration because more water evaporates in the cells and diffusion happens quicker. I'm just going to explain these a little, more, a little bit more detail. So water vapour diffuses more rapidly in drier than into humid air because the concentration gradient is steeper. So there's a bigger difference between the humidity of the air. So the water particles that are in high concentration of the plant diffuse into the dry air where there's a lower concentration of them. Um, so windy conditions both increase the rate of evaporation and also maintain a steep concentration gradient from the inside and outside of the cell, um, of the leaf even, by removing water vapour as it diffuses out. So as soon as it diffuses out, it gets blown away by the wind and it maintains that steep concentration gradient, making evaporation continue to happen. Um, next one, so temperature. As temperature increases, molecules move faster because they have more energy. You should be able to remember that from chemistry. So the more energy they have, these molecules have, the faster they can move. Therefore, the rate of photosynthesis happens quicker. So the stomata will be open for gas exchange, so more water will be lost. Um, going on to some of the adaptations plants have to prevent water loss. The plants have the following adaptations to stop them from losing water. Leaves have a waxy waterproof layer, so this stops water moving in and out of that layer. That's normally on the top though. Um, stomata are found on the bottom of the leaves and the cuticle may be thick and shiny. Remember shiny um, things reflect the energy away, so having the stomata on the bottom in a thick cuticle can protect them from the energy of the sun. Okay, and if a plant loses too much water too fast, it will take some drastic measures. So the whole plant will wilt. This reduces the surface area available, available so less water can be lost through evaporation. And um, the stomata will close. Now there's a risk that the plant may overheat when this happens, but it will prevent further water loss. And hopefully within that time it will rain again or something like that and the plant will be able to open up its stomata and regain some water again.